Hello, hello, hello everyone! Well, 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 welcome to another episode of our Isometric RPG series. Quickly, quickly coming to an end. Uh, that's why today's title should be not let's continue the environment dress up, although we might do that, maybe, but it should be polishing up. Polishing up the project there we go there we go bam so atomic worm hello hello uh nick not necessarily new lighting uh i did change some settings here and there and it does make me look like a bit too white so let's try to edit this and hopefully we won't fail miserably at it mm, color intensity maybe ah, 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 there we go maybe a bit too much brightness there we go there, ah, ah. better kind of gray yeah yeah bright light oh it's a bit over Pose. You know what? I'm I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe it's ah, there we go. And reducing a bit the color intensity. There we go. There. This makes me look a bit more human. I'm not a human anyway. I'm a cyborg underneath. <laughs> okay. So come on. Uh, everybody in the house. Ready for today's polishing up of the project? Like this, so my hands fit in. Polishing up of the project. So, uh, it might be a bit boring for how long will I polish it? Uh, Nick, that's a very good question, my friend. Not for long. Uh, on one side, I would like to uh, take it as much towards final as I'd like to, but on the other hand, I really experienced delays uh, delivering the course content. So it would be kind of uncool to continue dragging it uh, too much. However, I'm trying to make a setup in which I will be able to continue the polish offline and um, continue the polish offline and the course uh, students would be able to update from it um, as they go. Uh, that's why I really want to set up an SVN server properly and make it work. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's just, uh, let me just uh, tidy up something here on my desktop. We maybe wait for a few more people to jump right in. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, profile, profile, photo. There we go. Okay, who else do we have in the house? Uh, sorry, I can't see who's in the stream because I'm using the Restream app, but this will soon change because we'll soon switch to... Um, we'll soon switch to... Uh, uh, streaming exclusively on Twitch and just uploading on YouTube the videos 24 hours after they have been recorded. Imagine downloading. Uh, yeah, uh, Nick, exactly. So that's what I'm trying to fix before uh, I release the course. 
worst, 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 worst case scenario is first I release the course uh, with the slower download and I try to fix it as we go. But that would mean an overnight download for the students. If I can get up to one megabyte, it's already something much more uh, feasible. The course content isn't that big, it's a few hundred megs. So at one megabyte, it would be uh, manageable for the, for the students. Okay, let's transition to this scene. Mm, I see some text is not where it's supposed to be. Let me fix this real quick. One. Where are you? There we go. This one should be here. Oh. There we go. Okay. So, our isometric uh, RPG. The first thing we'll do is just fire it up, play it a bit, see how it feels, uh, and We'll probably make a list. Uh, oh, I love lists. Uh, documents, Nick, documents. <laughs> we'll probably make a list of everything that still needs to be done. Some of the things will happen on stream today. Other things will happen probably off stream. Uh, starting with season two, which will start next week on Wednesday, the first person puzzle adventure, I will limit myself to working only on stream so everyone can uh, work along. It will probably take a um, longer time to do this, but still. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, Nick. So again, uh, Nick, I have to say I appreciate so very much of you, uh, the effort you're putting in, uh, because I know it's not the most glamorous uh, part of game development, but this will uh, eventually make you a better developer. Uh, actually, I think that's what separates the uh, good developers from average developers. The fact that they can plan and pre-think and pre-meditate, if you'd like, before actually uh, building their game. I think that's, that's the biggest difference. I've also switched resolutions in here, so let's... Um, ah, where was it? Let's change the uh, resolution of the icons. I'm now streaming 1080p directly, which should be easier on the processor, so we wouldn't get any more full screen stuttering when showing the viewport in full screen. Uh, developer tools, widget reflector, there we go. This, this setting of the widget reflector is amazing. Unreal, you rock, you rock. So I'm hoping everyone can still read the text on all the icons and whoopsie, on all the icons and everything uh, I have in the screen. It should be good, it should be good. Okay. So, let's see what's going on. Uh, one thing, so we can play the game and not go completely mental. And one thing I al already knew I had to do is I want to add sound radius uh, for the um, uh, sound radius for the troll sounds because right now we can hear trolls from wherever they are, and we might just go cuckoo with that. Uh, destroyable barrels. I'm pretty sure that's not what we're doing today, so I'll update that text soon. But now let's let's uh, do the sound radius. So, in the trolls, in the troll uh, idle, let's see if we can put a radius here. Attenuation, there we go. Perfect. Yes, so attenuation, linear, in a sphere shape, with the inner radius of 400, 
centimeters. So that means four meters away, I hear them properly and they start falling off up to 36 meters. That's still a lot of distance. So I'll do the fall off at um, 15 meters maybe. Okay, so check this out. Uh, hello Anton, welcome back. Welcome back dear friend. So do you, do you want me to first show the sounds without the attenuation radius enabled and then to uh, show it with attenuation so everyone clearly understands what's going on and why we're using this? Let's try this. So I'll just pause the music for now. I will not do the attenuation override, okay? And let's open the map where we have a lot of them uh, trolls. <laughs> Oh, hello Sleepcore, uh, you've been messing with beam particles. Uh, okay, okay, I also had some fun with... Uh, are we talking about the ribbons or the beams are something else? Because the particle system is so vast, I don't even know exactly what we're talking about from time to time. Because uh, I would really like to see what you did. Hello Sorab, hello! Or should I say good morning, Sorab? <laughs> okay, so this one, the example difficulty. So in this map, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or even more uh, trolls, right? That's a hefty amount of trolls for a single map. So let's, let's actually try this and let's hit play. I can hear Yeah, so it's pretty clear uh, We can hear the trolls from very very far away and that's a bit uncool and all of the trolls Beam data is a unique particle type next to ribbon and mesh and some more. Oh gosh I never worked with uh, I never worked with uh, that one so far, but I'll probably get there. I would really like to see some of your results. So I'm pretty sure I also know what you're using it for, Slipcore. And just uh, just to um, add in with what Nick said, I also think that now even the tower defense is kind of your game. I mean, you're the one that picked it up. Okay, so we can hear the trolls from very, very far away, right? And we don't necessarily like that. I just enabled the attenuation here on the uh, sound cue. I save. And that is what it's about, yeah. <laughs> and let's see, see? Complete silence now. I don't hear them snorting. I actually raise the uh, media volume. Uh, prepare yourselves in case uh, I deafen everyone. I really don't want to do that. The media volume should be okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? About the leaderboard there. Uh, are we talking about generating generated scores or are those actually like real players playing for real. Let's see now. Now I heard him. Axe. <laughs> okay, okay. For a second there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a second there I was thinking like some people really went very far with this. Very far. So now I can hear trolls from the other room. The footsteps of the trolls still would also need attenuation. 
but it's already starting to be better. Let's see if I can navigate these bear traps. Damn. Hey there, big guy. Chill, chill. We cool. So Slipcore says he thinks he calculated some numbers having the base code now and the top ones okay okay fake okay got it uh okay so they couldn't have played it for a few years because it freezes your pc anyway right i made them angry not feeling brave here. Come on, come and get me. Ow, they got me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Holy cheat and <laughs> But how would they be able to cheat? I mean, is there a way to edit the registries of the game if it's a flash app? That's what I'm curious about. How can... Oh! Oh, sorry. Sorry, Slipcore. For a second there, I forgot why uh, the whole thing got... Uh, sorry. My bad. For a second there, I forgot why the whole thing got uh, rejected by Apple. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. A a ah! Ah, okay. This is actually something of concern for me and Nick as well for the um, difficult game project because we also want to make an HTTP leaderboard and yeah. Uh, Apple rejected Flash, Slipcore. Apple rejected Flash because they said it was uh, insecure. Mixing it up. <laughs> So Apple rejected having Flash working on any of their devices because they considered it uh, insecure. And yes, Nick, we should also think about a name. Okay, so now the idle trolls are okay. Maybe the attenuation could go as far as 20 meters. Uh, let's do the same for the uh, growl. This growl, and let's make the attenuation also at 20 meters. And let's save it. And what else should we do for the sounds? Maybe the footsteps, maybe the footsteps as well should get some attenuation. So again, 20 meters should be good. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I think you're not the only one uh, doing this uh, kind of hack sleep core because um, I'm pretty sure that's how most of the Flash developers survived uh, on iPhone. Okay, so now they're much, much... Uh... Oh. The footsteps shouldn't be attenuated that much. Uh, and the growl. So the growl, I will make it uh, start at an inner radius of 15. Yeah, exactly, Nick, exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But for that, you might need to compile Slipcore. Uh, so you might need the Flash 
compiler and everything. Uh, footsteps. Make the radius here 10,000. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we definitely might use Slipcore's help. We definitely might. Uh, especially for the, I'm thinking more about validating the um, uh. validating the code after I write it, making a code review. Uh. Somebody got angry. I'm still not sure if I should kill the trolls with a single barrel explosion. Seems a bit too easy now. Seems a bit too easy. I'll hard code this into the PHP that accepts the requests. Aha! Uh -huh. Insta kill. Exactly, Nick. Exactly. I should I should uh, decrease the barrel damage or increase the player's orb damage, A and let's actually do that because it's Polish. <laughs> so let's browse to the asset map. Uh, has to have a time minimum. Yeah, but yeah, actually it should have a time minimum. Uh, The most hardcore of ways would be to actually train a bot that plays the map really, really well, well and we would use uh, the bot's timings, I guess. <laughs> because he would do like the perfect moves and perfect angles and... Hello Marcel, uh, welcome back my friend. Uh, we're polishing the project. Um, right now I just finished polishing the sounds and right now I'm doing some health balancing. And actually, I'm happy you, you also came, um, came right now, Marcel. Let's actually talk about something, about difficulty. Uh, this is something uh, Nick has heard me yapping about a lot. Uh, but I hope you'll also enjoy this discussion. And Slipcore says the hacky way would be vector distance of start and divided by player speed. Uh, yeah, yeah, that should be a, a gro gross, uh, gross calculation of time and it should be enough for us. Okay, so let's talk about difficulty and about how we can um, control difficulty. Uh, Slipcore, time for your uh, favorite uh, drawing again, the schematics. Uh, actually, what uh, Nick, what Slipcore is proposing might actually be easier than what I was thinking about with training the bot and whatnot. <laughs> okay, so once we, we have several ways of controlling difficulty in the game. The first one is per ingredient. Uh, let's, let's not use white as a font color, first of all, per mechanic. And this sits in the uh, game design side. So in a per mechanic uh, difficulty setup, what would I control and how? For instance, the troll HP. How many health points does the troll have? Uh, by default in the map, uh, in any map. Uh, how much uh, damage does the troll deal? 
Uh, give me the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, Nick, I will not release the game until we finish it once. Not with the best time, but at least making sure we can finish it once from start to end. Just so, just so you consider about how hard you want to make those maps. Control damage. Mm, oh, let's, let's say it's about enough. I would go into much more detail, but there's no need to, at least for this game and not for the example as well. Yo, 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 Dr. Drogi, welcome, welcome, dear friend. <laughs> Nick, again, thank you for acting like a true developer and hanging in there. Okay, so difficulty, I can control per mechanic. Uh, if I look at the troll with the health points uh, and the damage, um, I could say that by default a troll has, um, let's make a new layer, a uh, hundred health points, just like the player, right? So this would be, again, I'm using white, a hundred health points. I could say that the damage the troll deals is 15, which if I'm not mistaken, is what the trolls are dealing now. But let's actually look at what the trolls are, uh, look at what the uh, actual damage value the trolls are dealing now is. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Uh, in blueprints, there we go, magic projectile enemy. So the magic projectile, I'm sorry, Nick. <laughs> Deal damage, base orb damage, and this one is 10, actually. Okay. But this is over the dot effect. Uh, we might have another one. We might have another one in the player. The player, where we receive uh, damage. Hello, Nervosa. Welcome. Uh, let's see. In the and why didn't I uh, turn back the music, folks? There we go. Now we have music again. We were testing sounds earlier, and that's why I stopped the music. Uh, Marcel, I do not understand the question. How do I make next level? Uh, add a bit more detail to it. Okay, so let's see the player. The player character is in here, top down character, and let's see how he receives uh, damage from the magic orb. Coming damage, melee, set to frozen color, ranged, orb type, duration, damage per tick. Okay, aha, so we received the base damage. Anyway, with a deal damage to player, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on here. When I finish first level of the game, I make level two. Uh, I still do not understand exactly the question, Marcel, but maybe you can join our Discord and ask the question there in the how to. Uh, explain a bit what you're trying to achieve and we'll get to the bottom of it. Uh, okay, let's see. Base orb damage. Has to, okay, deal damage to player. Okay, so it's actually 10 points, the base orb damage. I go back here. Sorry for the, for taking so much time. There we go. Up, up. So, this is the base damage per mechanic uh, of the troll I'm dealing. So what if I would like to make a setting in the menu that sets the game to easy, medium or hard? Mm, well, these values would probably fit the medium because that's how I feel them to fit. And it's not an exact science or a rocket science, but that's how I feel them, to be at uh, 100 uh, health points for the troll and 10 damage points 
um, when they hit me, right? And then for easy or medium, I would just tune the difficulty by putting in, I don't know, easy should be green. Uh, Nick is crying in a corner. Oh gosh, why is that, Nick? Uh, easy should be... Um, they probably have 70 health points and they would only deal 7 uh, damage every time they hit me with a melee or with a magic orb. And on hard, they would probably... They would probably have <laughs> yeah okay nick <laughs> yeah nick is in in uh, easy medium hard uh, valley of the shadow so yeah so then on hard it should be 130 and the damage should be uh, 13 maybe or 15. Another, Mar Marcel is asking another very good question for the Discord channel, Marcel. Uh, hey, super badass 3231, now following us from Mixer. Well, thank you very much, super badass, for the follow. Uh, just to redirect Marcel again uh, to our Discord channel, where you can ask this question. And it's actually... Uh, it's actually a, uh, something you get right by studying a photograph or perspective. Uh, so I can't say how you get it right. You just try until you it looks right. <laughs> okay, so this is how I would tune the difficulty if I would have a menu slider to go like easy, medium or hard. Now, there's another more complex discussion which we don't necessarily cover in our project. Not that we're covering this right now, but this would be easier to implement. But if we were to also control it from level design, so here from level design, super badass, uh, definitely not math. <laughs> Just uh, game and level design balancing common sense. So from level design, the number of enemies. And when I say from level design, take it please with a grain of salt. Uh, we're talking about uh, super badass, we're talking about balancing uh, difficulty levels if you would have in the menu a button for easy, medium or hard. So in the game ingredient side, so we look here at a troll, at this troll, at this troll, let's see, this troll. Let me just take you to a troll. Uh, we would have to make the troll give different levels of damage based on the difficulty we're on. So this troll, I could just get him angry. There we go. Bam. Cracks me once, twice, three times and so on. And he decreases a certain amount of health every time he whacks me with the melee attack. Mm. I will shoot him now. And every time I also attack him, I decrease a certain amount of health points. So let's assume I'm right now developing the game on medium difficulty. I need to shoot the, tro the uh, I need to shoot the troll three times in order to uh, kill him. On hard difficulty, I would make it so that I would need to shoot the troll. four times and on easy difficulty I would make it so I would only need to shoot the troll two times. So this is all about balancing the numbers right and right now the game as it is isn't able to support a system like this because I'll show you the flaw. 
Though the trolls deal damage in like 10 base points, you can see it here. The base orb damage is 10 uh, base points. Um, see you soon, super badass. Uh, whereas the player uh, also deals damage in 10 base points, but so we deal 10 base points, but the troll's health is very low. Right now my character's, character troll's health is by default set to 30, which isn't cool. So again, I'll line up to my medium difficulty settings and I'll put it at 100. There we go. At 100, the health point variable inside the default character troll. I have to compile and save. And now I also need to increase the damage a magic orb is dealing to a troll. So if I want to uh, kill the troll with three shots, I would need to make the damage 35 points because three times 35 means 105. So that will kill the troll. So I have to find the player's the player's magic projectile and I would have to set the base damage to 35 there we go compiled and saved ah okay there we go at some point I was using the damage functions from Unreal, but then we switched. Okay, let's see if this works. Then we switched to just passing damage as a value and inter interpreting damage inside the troll. Let's see if this works. So the troll now should still die with three hits, but they should also not die from a single barrel explosion. One. Two. Three, and he's down. Tango down, tango down. Okay, but now when I go to the barrels, uh, the barrel explosion shouldn't kill the trolls immediately. Up, up, up. Hello. Oh no. There we go. Ah, uh, but it did. Hmm. But it did. So there's something else going on there which we need to debug. Fortunately, we're in Polish day today, so let's debug it. And actually, let's update the chatbot say properly polishing the project. Polishing the project. There we go. Up. Okay. Polish, dobra, yeah. <laughs> Actually, do dobro uh, means good in Croatian as well. So that's, you went way more multicultural than you intended, Slipcore. Yes. <laughs> Polska. <laughs> uh, the barrel is killing the troll for some reason. Immediately, immediately after it explodes. So I'm doing spear trace, pass to top down, default explosion damage is 20, take damage inside the character troll. Huh. The HP should be a hundred. I do have a feeling I'm casting multiple times from the barrel. I do have a feeling I'm casting multiple times from the barrel. I'm ray tracing multiple times from the barrel. Because here I have to do a do once from the... Uh, from when I'm hitting the player. I'm guessing I'm hitting from the barrel when ray, cast, when ray tracing multiple points 
in the troll. So I hit him once in the leg, then once in the torso, then once in the head, and that's why he's getting multiple, uh, multiple damage. $10 per hour and <laughs> can't clean my blueprints. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I will remember that, uh, Nick. I will honestly remember that. Uh, a sleep core? I am... Yes, the two ones should do it. Yes. <laughs> there we go. So now I'm bulletproofing for the trolls and for the barrels as well with the do ones. And now I do not see any reason why the trolls should die immediately from the barrel explosion. Uh, I want to understand. <laughs> no, it was a joke. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll have to do it myself then. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> More... Mm, I, I, do, I do blueprint cleaning for 25 or 35 euros per hour. That, that would be profitable for me. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, you know what's funny, Nick? I would probably not be able to read anything from it. One. Two. Apparently now I'm not dealing enough damage to them. Smirketa is now following. Thank you so much, Smirketa, for the follow. Nice. A Twitcheroo. Bam. I can't tell if I'm... They're, they're growling. Oh, but now I'm hitting them with only 10 damage points. Ah, I'm, I'm hitting them with only 10 damage points. The trolls take damage. Incoming damage. Am I passing around the damage value? Yes, but it's 20 damage points, so I should make this 35. Compile and save. So the default explosion damage from the explosive barrels is now 35 health points regardless of what we hit. Hit them with hugs, make love, not war. Yes. Uh, for now though, I will still hit them with magic orbs. Let's see. Hello, Trollio. Okay, so three hits takes the troll down. <laughs> Make love, not trolls. And let's see now. So the explosive barrels should affect him a bit. Bam, okay. Okay, and this one should kill him. Yes. So it took three barrel explosions to kill the troll. I'm also getting some problems because I'm hitting explosive barrels from the other side of the room. One explosive barrel and one magic orb and another magic orb to kill him. Okay, so now we're completely balanced. Uh, the health points are balanced enough. These ice trolls are actually pretty, uh, pretty hard to, to defeat. I still don't know why my this exploding barrel. You know what? I'll eject a bit. So this exploding barrel. Uh, yes, comrade uh, Joseph. I started with the ice with the top down. Um, I started with the top-down um, default project 
preset project and we worked our way up to making an entire basic isometric RPG game. Uh, if you stick around until the end of the stream, we usually package the project, make it an archive and upload it on Google Drive so everyone can download it and play it and see how it feels. Uh, this is just a test level. Uh, we actually have better looking levels, which I'll probably open in about a few minutes. But right now, I have the following problem. I have the problem that this barrel exploding makes this barrel also explode. So I'm doing something wrong and I'm not getting it right with the walls, probably when searching for other barrels. Hmm. 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 Let's see how I'm doing the actual search for other barrels. I'm tracing from the camera channel, that's why. I'm not tracing from the visibility channel. But why wasn't I tracing from the visibility channel? You know what, let's draw the debug again for the duration of the line trace. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had very good reasons of not uh, tracing with visibility but with camera. Let's see. And probably now the barrels won't work at all. Uh, Comrade Joseph, uh, not Russian, I am uh, Romanian born and raised, but now I live in beautiful Zagreb, uh, Croatia. Uh, you're probably wondering about my strong accent. It's a uh, Romanian accent, not uh, Russian. Close enough. Clo close enough. <laughs> so it's still uh, detonated the other barrel so it's not because of the visibility channel it's probably because of the collision settings I have on the wall itself collision presets default uh, I don't know what the default channel does what does the default channel do uh, ba -ba -ba. Default specified in the static mesh asset, but I don't know what that is. Let's put it to block all. And let's see if the barrels still detonate from one room to another. I have to save current. I will put it back on camera now, trace channel camera. How long did it take us to make it? Well, Comrade Joseph, we've been working on this for about two months, both on stream and off stream. Uh, I did have, uh, I did get a lot of help um, from Dr. Drogi because I created the default troll behavior with a very messy method that just made them working. And then Dr. Drogi, who is uh, also in the stream uh, today um, refactored the entire troll behavior but starting next week Wednesday comrade Joseph will start another project a first-person puzzle adventure game uh, which I plan to work on only during the stream so everyone can blueprint along and develop along uh, as we progress the project hello Florinelle hello hello He did like a backflip. He did like a backflip. The troll did a backflip. Okay, come on. So now I hit it. Nah, I still, I still detonated. Okay, time to go into a separate gym and see what's going on.
Augie test map. Yes, we'll save this map and we'll see what's going on with the barrels. But definitely Slipcore, you will catch up. That's, that's for sure. Uh, I think the first episode will be just about... Uh, even maybe I could even start with installing Unreal, uh, like start from scratch. So as many people as uh, can jump in and do, do the same. I have a lot of friends who keep telling me, oh yeah, I would like to start uh, game dev, but it seems so hard and complicated. And it's actually not. Okay, it's uh, a lot of tiny, simple tasks, and that's what kind of makes it look complicated. But I don't think it's that complicated. Uh, but then again, maybe I'm not the right person to talk about this. Okay, so we create a cube here, which has the block all uh, collision. I save and I hit play. And my goal is to hit this barrel and this barrel should not detonate the one on the other side of the wall. Huh. Comrade Joseph, uh, I am studying programming now, thank you for asking. Uh, I have been a professional level designer, lead level designer or technical director for level design for the past 12 years or even more than 12 years, because time flies. Um, I did do some scripting, but I do not have a programming background, so I am not a programmer. Uh, we do have programmers here in the stream. Slipcore is, uh, for example, a very, very uh, good programmer and he's been doing this for a lot of time as well. Um, and, but he's also using mostly blueprints to build his projects. Okay, come on. Let's go back in visibility. File and save. Yeah, <laughs> the Slipcore is also a very modest person. <laughs> Why am I getting the Trace channel, trace complex. Please, please tell me it wasn't about this. Please tell me it wasn't about checking the trace complex because now it will probably hit the wall. No, it wasn't about this. Okay. Okay. Trace complex. Visibility, camera, mouse navigation. Ooh, mouse navigation. What is this channel? Mouse navigation. Let's actually try this channel. Uh, yes, Slipcore. Visibility is everything visible, so I have to select the collision channel. But I think I fixed it. Okay, it's a lazy fix, but it works. So let me show you what's going on here. Uh, I will do show navigation, which is a console command which I can use when the game is running. This uh, navigation comes as a preset in the project and it's identified as the mouse navigation. But now, now I have another problem. Uh, exactly, exactly, Slipcore. They don't because we don't detect these as being on the mouse navigation anymore. Uh, UE4 is easier than making a game in C Sharp or an empty program. So yes, you fooled myself and started making it in C Sharp with graphical user interface. Uh, <laughs> I get you, comrade. Uh, yes, uh, it's definitely much easier and at least you learn 
um, you learn how to uh, use the API of Unreal Engine even if at some point you go back to uh, actually coding but still just understanding how everything is structured there and how the systems inside Unreal Engine work is super accessible here. Uh, okay, back to the drawing board. My RPG is missing the dealt damage on screen. Yes, Nick, we'll probably add this tonight after we fix the barrels though. That's, a, that's an awesome suggestion actually. Would be a cool detail, yeah. Okay, so on what am I tracing? Oh, let's trace back on visibility, actors to ignore. Oh man, I should build an array here with all the actors I'd like to ignore. Tadom Premni. Tadom Spremni. I do not understand that, uh, Comrade Joseph, but there's nothing. Let's move this here. Uh, but there's nothing old Google Translate wouldn't. Home ready. Okay, home ready. <laughs> okay, uh, home ready. Is that on us? That don't frame me. Home ready. Okay. <laughs> I still don't necessarily understand it, but okay. Okay, so what actors should I ignore? Uh, I could make this array... Ah, okay, it goes by variable type. Ah, it doesn't... It, it, yeah, it's an array. And I should populate this array from World War II. Okay, okay, I'll have to wiki that. I don't know exactly what it means. Uh, I could get all the actors okay in the map so I should do a set here and I could get all the actors in the map which have a, spe a specific type of collision the camera most efficient okay or i should do a multi-sphere trace by something else uh, yes i live in croatia but i do not know croatian comrade joseph i just moved here a year ago <laughs> channel by profile or four objects by profile okay let's see what other options we have multi sphere trace by profile and the profile hmm hmm we could do it by a collision profile hmm We could do it by pol collision profile, or we could do it by objects, but in objects I should also build an array. I'm really trying, uh, Nick, to not uh, build arrays. Sorry, I forgot an alarm on my phone, apparently. Uh, let's see, uh, 61. Uh, sorry about that, I forgot an alarm on my phone. Uh, 73, there we go. I have this cool alarm which makes me, which forces me to make additions in order to stop it. So you did not understand me when I thank you for the recipe. Uh, if you said Hvala, Hvala Florinel, I did understand you. <laughs> Let's try it with this one. Multi uh, sphere trace by profile. Yes, yes. So I'll try to do it by collision profile hello roberto welcome welcome back 
We are still fixing the barrels. It's not necessarily what we set our mind to fix today, but it's what we happen to find to be still defective a bit. Medled. Can't I get the collided object and check a ray cast in between them? Check if the hit results same object. If it's something else, then don't explode the barrel. Medled, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. That's actually a super smart idea. Wow. Comrade Joseph is now following. Thank you for the follow, Comrade Joseph. <laughs> me, and Sleep, me and Sleepcore were both like, yeah, that sounds so simple. Of course we didn't think about it. <laughs> okay, okay. So... I should still probably do once here and then after the do once um, I should check if let's see uh, I should do another uh, line trace here let's try it on the barrels first let's try a line trace uh, for object this time or not for object uh, no a line trace line. Uh, net led the principles uh, are the same line trace by channel by profile by channel again visibility Uh, I'm trying to uh, do a second line trace as Ned Led suggested in order to see if I have a clear line of sight between what I hit with the multi-sphere trace and the barrel that explodes. So on visibility again I will trace a simple collision. I will draw for duration the start should be uh, the actor location plus 50 centimeters above so I don't trace just from the base I trace from a bit towards the center of the barrel so this should fit in here okay and the end of the trace should be the impact point or the location, the location of the hit. Let's see if I can get this right. Nick is probably bleeding from the eyes when he sees the mess of the blueprint I had here. And if I get an out hit, oh man, which I should break again. break again and if the hit actor is the same as the original hit actor I've gotten here <laughs> then I should branch into the barrel hit and open from the condition okay let's see if this works so now especially for the barrel case if I hit this one let's see what goes on okay that worked let's see if the chain reaction still works I have somewhat failed on the chain reaction because I didn't couple the out hits back here. My bad, my bad, my bad. Come on, again.
boink. So that was okay. And here I should have a chain reaction. But I'm still not getting the chain reaction anymore. Hit actor. I do once. I do a line trace by channel. The start is my... Okay. Ignore self. Um, yes, Nick, I did hit the wall. But the second time... Oh yeah, and I'm not in the loop body and I'm only doing once. So the do once, I should move... Yes, Nick, correct. Uh, the do once, I should move uh, here. And Nedled, uh, you have a good question there uh, too. I would like to see what we actually hit with the sphere the first time. That's, that's what I would like to see. But maybe if I move this do once here, after I pass the test and I have good visibility and line of sight, maybe now I should pass it along. Let's see. Boom. Okay. Let's debug. C-sharp is so much easier to read. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I'm not making messy blueprints, or if other people are not making messy blueprints, this is also easier to read. I'm getting... So, let's, let's simplify things now. Uh, hit the one from the left. No, it was me firing another magic orb, Nick. With the hit actor this time. On visibility. Location. Impact point. Normal, impact, normal, trace start. Impact point. Location of the actual contact point of the trace shape with the surface of the hit object equals to location in case of an initial overlap. We might want to use impact point. We might want to use impact point. And I would like to start debugging with breakpoints. Comrade, I have around 15 games on mobile. It's harder than you think these days. It's better to make a mobile game. There are millions of other game companies that probably have better games than yours. Mobile users, more like time waste games. Yes. The games are rather easy to make, that's true, but it's all in the marketing or being really lucky. I'm not, a, I'm not sure, uh, Nick. Uh, yes, I want to stop the chain reaction if there is a wall between the barrels. And, uh, Comrade, I don't understand if you're making an argument pro or against uh, mobile games. Because Nedled is definitely making uh, an argument uh, not necessarily against, but yes, I agree with Nedled. It's much harder to successfully grab a piece of the market in the mobile uh, market, for sure. Come on, let's see if we hit the breakpoint, folks. We don't even hit the breakpoint. So the problems aren't even here. The problems are probably here. Here and here. Trace complex, here trace by channel. Come on. Ah, I wasn't debugging the proper object. 
Okay, my bad, my bad. We, we have to simplify a bit the scene first. So I will just keep these, these two barrels for now. <laughs> yes, Nick, but catchy also has to be, uh, also has to stand out somehow. In the, in the mobile games market, you have like a hundred titles released every day. Let's connect to... Which one are we? Barrel 6 or Barrel 7? Which is Barrel 7? Let's see which is Barrel 7. Barrel 7, where are you? Which one? Ah, eject. Which one are you? Barrel 7, this one. Okay. So let's connect to barrel 7 and let's shoot it. Barrel 7, we're connected. Let's possess the pawn. And let's shoot it. Bam! Okay. So now the barrel exploded. I've hit my breakpoint about the multi sphere trace by channel. Okay. Indy Club is in the house. Hello, Indy. And let's see what's going on here. Can I also breakpoint the sequence? Of course I can. Resume. Okay, I'm in the sequence. Uh, let's resume again. I'm still in the sequence. Okay, I've casted to the destroyable barrel, so I've definitely hit this one. I'm still doing the four loop. Okay, okay. I'm still doing the four loop a lot of times. Okay, and I've got the destroyable barrel. I'm now doing the line trains towards it. And I would like to see the impact point location is 2014. Minus, minus 670, okay, and why don't I get to the ranch? I get to the branch, but I do not pass because Oh because I should probably use this pin here. And try to see if I get the proper hit. File, save. Let's try it again this time. Let's remove breakpoints a bit here and there. So let's remove this one, let's remove this one. Uh, you can even remove this one. Save. Let's see. Okay. Resume. Resume. Branch. If the hit actor, if the hit actor is the same, so I'm failing here at the hit actor for some reason. Hmm. Stop. Here's what I'll do. I will get the location. Yeah. So I will delete this. And I will just get the location of this actor. Get actor location. And I will use this as a line and compile and save. Oh, the discussion is getting pretty heated up there. 
uh, Nianic, I also feel that today having so many options even in the mobile market without the uh, actual uh, ads every five seconds, adding, going to ads isn't uh, an option anymore. Okay, folks, I got it. So, uh, I would like to thank Nedled very much. His technique works. Come on, I'll remove all the breakpoints and I'll show you the progress we did. Nedled, your technique works brilliantly. Uh, I just implemented it a bit bad the first time. That's why we weren't getting the results. So come on, let me um, remove the breakpoints. Whoops. Let me remove the breakpoints and explain what I did here, what happened here and the, the mistake I was doing. Maybe some of us can learn from it. So check this out. Uh, initially, when I was doing the second line trace, I want to clean this up a bit. Or Nick. Oh, come on, let's push this lower all together here. And let's clean this up a bit. So as Nedlet suggested, after we detect um, in the sphere an object of the types we want to send damage to, in this case I'm just doing it for the destroyable barrel, uh, I was using the start point of my first barrel that explodes a bit higher from the ground and then I thought initially to use the impact point or the location of the impact of the sphere trace but that was not returning the proper result so now I'm just getting the actor location of the actor I've uh, hit already and this Let's see how we can easily clean this up. How would this easily clean up and look prettier on the screen so it's easier to read? Like this, maybe, you know what? Maybe I could get the location from here because it doesn't matter if I cast it or not. And this break hit result can stay here, this can stay here, and this bad boy can come here and it can plug in here. And I'll do it again here. Okay, so now, now it's a, a bit, a bit cleaner, I hope. A bit cleaner. Don't bother about this too much. But we'll probably have to do the same thing there. Okay. So if I hit a barrel, I get its position. I do another line trace to make sure I can actually see that barrel. And if the line trace works, then I send the barrel hit information. <laughs> You'll never be happy about it. You know what, Nick? Uh, I think we'll implement this method as uh, function. La bouchette, la bouche, don't judge me, don't judge me. Uh, I will probably clean this up uh, by implementing the second check, the one uh, Nedled suggested, as a function. But first let's check it again and see that it works both ways the way we want it. So, I shoot a barrel, it doesn't detonate the ones outside the wall, nice. It detonated those, nice. Sorry, I still have some breakpoints here and there. Okay, again. Again, so I hit this barrel, it doesn't detonate the one behind the wall. But it detonates this one, so it works good. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Looks good. We can still have the chain reaction, but we don't uh, detonate through the walls. That's actually quite cool. I still, I still do not like 
I still do not like that when this barrel exploded, it did not detonate uh, this one, although it did have a line trace, so I should probably increase a bit the distance uh, to where I trace. So I should get actor location. Uh, line trace. How do I increase the distance? How do I increase the distance? I should make a distance here somehow. Distance. Get point distance to line, get point distance to segment. Uh, this is the actor's position. Hmm. Expand the node with the arrow down, this one. Of course, says expand the node with the arrow down. Expand the node with the arrow down. The trace hits right, yes. Uh, no, Nedled. I think it's actually something different. I think right now I'm making the trace exactly, uh, exactly as long as. Uh, the distance between the objects. No, the line, that's just the problem. The line isn't infinite. It has a finite distance. Let's see. Trace color, trace hit. Yeah. So it has a finite distance. Is the start and end. Yes. And I'm not sure my end is still uh, good enough. I'm not sure about it, but maybe, what if I disable the do once here, as Nedled said, as Nedled said, because this do once indeed might only do it for the first barrel. And let's try it now. So again, I sh what, what I am expecting to happen is, I will shoot this barrel, it will explode, it will not hit that barrel because it hits the wall, it will then hit this barrel which in turn will hit all the other three barrels in its, uh, in its radius. So let's see how that goes folks. Blam. Okay, I'm hitting this one. Okay, yes, now it works properly. Now it works properly. Oh, we're making progress. We are making progress. So again, uh, big thanks for Nedled who once again spotted it. You've been doing this for quite a while, haven't you, Nedled? Haven't you? <laughs> okay. Um, zero marketing means zero dollars. Yes, Nick, I found this out the hard way, my friend. I found this out the hard way. I published my first Indiegogo campaign and I got a 7% fulfillment. Because although I have an impeccable track record and an impressive resume, nobody knew about me. I can guarantee that if today I would make another Indiegogo campaign to finance uh, building these uh, level design courses I'm building right now, I would get totally different results. So I, I really stand here with Nick, marketing. Uh, yes, Indie Club. Doing a good thing doesn't matter anymore because there are so many good things out there in the market. Uh, so people have to know about your good thing. <laughs> Got some experience. About 15 titles worth of experience, right, Nedled? 
Okay, so now I'm doing this right here. What else should I do? I should turn it into a function. All of this has to be turned into a function. All of this. All of this. Okay, uh, and let's see. Collapse to function. Nice. Uh, let's call it uh, check if visible. Uh, it didn't, it didn't uh, quite understand the variable I wanted because here I just wanted the actor style variable and here I also want the actor variable. Okay. Okay. And let's put the return node somewhere here. In the branch here okay Nick okay Nick I know that I know that article and I honestly folks folks dear friends and people I don't want to be I don't want to be mean about this but I'm trying to talk here as a level designer uh, in the club Live is also a level designer. I'm not even talking about as a producer, although I have been a producer as well. Just as a level designer. When I'm building a level, I'm building for people. I want to playtest my levels, I want to playtest my games, I want to make it fun for them. That guy with uh, $140,000 in development and marketing, I can assure you, has never playtested his game. Never. I actually went on YouTube and watched the uh, game and I wouldn't play that. It's an art game, it's not a casual experience kind of game uh, or that's at least how he proposes uh, it to be. And we're not living in 1995 anymore uh, when uh, you just have to make something and it will work because we don't have anything else to play anyway. I'm still getting an error here and sorry if I'm getting too opinionated about this but really know, know your users at least have a few friends playtest see if they like it if they don't like it you don't need to release the game anyway I mean seriously if my girlfriend doesn't like it or doesn't even at least try to play it a few times what chances would I have with a complete stranger from another part of the world uh, if we're talking about the, uh, not Airscape, the fall of gravity, no, I'm talking about, um, I'm talking about, let me uh, click on yours, uh, no, not this one, not this one, definitely, not Airscape, the fall of gravity, uh, I think Nick mentioned it, uh, it's uh, where the... Something goes to die or something. I don't know the name of the game. Nick, maybe you can help us with the with the link. And yes, Nedled, play playtest, playtest. Oh, I can't, I can't stress it enough. Target self. Target amount. I'm still getting some errors here. Ugh. I'm still getting a bit of errors here because I'm passing these as destroyable barrels. Uh huh. Actor object. Hey, Slipcore. Slipcore. My dear C friend. Here's, here's the. Here's the nasty stuff. 
I miss, I miss from C++. I don't know C++. I hate programming in text, but here's the nasty stuff I hate. I, I miss from C++. So I collapsed uh, everything Nedled suggested we do in a function, right? But I want it to be a generic function that gets an actor and for that actor, no matter what, gets the actor's location, uh, makes the line trace, checks if it was hit or not, and then outputs uh, the result if the actor was hit. But if I change the variable to be of a generic type actor, ugh, wait, maybe I can, maybe I can configure the function. What's a pure? What's a pure here? Force this to be a pure function. No, pass by reference. The upper input pin of the specific type and I'm the one that told you this like 10 days ago and here I am not happy with this now. Here I am completely not happy because yes, yes, with the value you should, I'm calling the function, no with the value I should call from. We might just put, uh, no, because this will, okay, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. So you're saying to put the pin here and to break it from here. File? Nope, nope, because this is, uh, this still wants, uh, this will be the self. So it doesn't work. It wants it as BP destroyable barrel because that's what I'm passing there. But maybe I can pass it from here. But then I would have to cast again. Oh. Output pin and target. Not compatible with self. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Output pin. Output pin is of type actor. The hit actor, the self. I don't need to input the self anymore. The thing is this, if I convert it to a barrel, uh, look, it's exactly, it's exactly our issue. So if I convert this to a, a barrel type actor, now I fixed it. Check this out. Now it's done. It's the bulletproofing uh, slipcore uh yes 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 so uh check this out nedled uh the error was complaining i was trying to make a generic function nedled uh the error was complaining that inside my function i was just trying to declare whoops sorry that's also link here so my function requires an input right which is uh the actor to raycast to with your method. So I first get the actor, I try to make the line trace again to see if, if I... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There was something definitely wrong with the stream. <laughs> Slipcore. Yeah, now, now we're live, okay. Okay, well that was weird. And this, this is supposed to be the high-speed internet, the good one from the back. Okay, we're back. So as I was saying, I can't get a generic actor here. Yeah, looks like I'll have to do a function for each one. Looks like I'll have to do a function for each one. The reason it does not work is that I added the function into the barrel blueprint, so I can only do this for barrels. Mm. 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, but let's assume I want this to be a generic one, right? Oh man, then I would have to set the actor, maybe, maybe. So if I would like it to be a generic one, and actually let's connect the output pin as well. There, now we're doing good. So if I would like it to be a generic one, Yeah, okay, Slipcore, thank you. So for that, I will not do an interface, I will just do uh, functions for uh, each type of uh, actor. So che check if visible barrel, there we go. I will just duplicate this function. I will say check if visible troll, there we go. I will change here the actor to be uh, of type troll uh, at Nick yeah we did have uh, we did have uh, issues with the stream of type troll point connected here I will pass out again a troll like this control F5 Okay, Indie Club Live, thank you very much. I've learned something very useful today. Uh, and now, here, I will also call it for the troll. Maybe I don't need to do once anymore. So now I will uh, check, check if visible troll. Cannot define who if it does make current class of type actor. Currently working classes will lead to issues. Comparing the class structure. Yeah. <laughs> or check this out. Nice and nice and simple. Good night, Indy. Good night. Or check this out. Much simpler. There, I did it. I'm doing one for the for each one. I won't do it for the player because at this moment I can uh, have only one player anyway. So I don't. I don't think I'll need to do it for the player. And we should be good. Compiled and saved. Let's test it. So, I've hit the barrel. Yeah, works. Okay. Okay. Now I want to lure the troll inside the barrel radius. If there we go. And let's see. I lure him, he gets damage, and he died, because he got two uh, hits from these two barrels. Okay, it works. I would like to check the player now. I would like to check the player now, because I don't feel the player is getting damaged anymore. See? The player is not taking damage anymore from the barrels. Hmm. Hmm. Why is that, my friend? Why is that? Deal damage. I check. It's a top-down character. I would only do it once. Do I ever get here?
Dave's hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, not, not necessarily, Nick. Not necessarily. I mean, this is part of the process, I guess. And if you don't like this part, add another function to the player. Uh, I shouldn't check for the player. But I'm totally not detecting the player in the in the sphere because I don't even enter the loop here. Look, I don't even enter the loop here in the sequence. Trace channel visibility, trace complex. Let's remove the trace complex. Maybe the player has a weird complex collision channel which it doesn't detect or something. No, it's not that. Hey, the messy coder! <laughs> Glad to have you here, my friend. Uh, if you think your code is messy, you should check out the spaghettis I do here. <laughs> now, now it's better. We did some uh, function control, but earlier it was a complete mess. Come on, let's see what's going on here. Am I going for uh, to the UK for Twitch London? Uh, no, I'm not going for Twitch London this year. I just found out about it from you today. But I will definitely plan it. I mean, when is it? Is it like super soon? I'll actually write this down. We, I didn't know there is a Twitch London. That's super awesome, actually. Uh, and yes, Slipcore, I'm not even doing a line trace for the player. That's the weirdness. That's, that's the weirdness. 30th of June. A bit too short notice for my taste. But yeah. Ah, twice a year. Okay. Then maybe I'll actually catch uh, the next one. December and June. December might actually be cool. Right close to my birthday, might be really cool. Top down character, as top down character, the hit actor is... Oh, okay, I'll check my email then. Probably they also sent it to me. Come on, let's see what's going on with this top down character and why am I not getting it? Uh, do once. I don't like this do once. Let's try it without the do once. I don't like you do once. You have served your purpose, but not anymore. Yeah, that's the big boy one in the US. <laughs> this is getting really, really here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're grounded, the messy coder. You're grounded. But UK for you might be super achievable, right? Because you are in the UK. It actor. Uh, it actor. If I cast it to a top down character. Which developer tool? Okay. Is top down character. Face channel visibility. Ignore self. Let's switch it back to camera. Yes, you do. And also uh, the messy coder. You will also have to send me a build so I can play it on stream. 
and w there's a, only one kind of builds we're taking here uh, work in progress, unpolished, rough around the edges, that's how we like them. So, you do not have the excuse that it has to be ready. Perfect, perfect, the messy coder, perfect. Um, we only play work in progress, uh, pre, 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 pre alpha builds here. And honestly, I'm getting a bit dry and don't have anything to play. Uh, no, we, I'm not judging about visuals or anything. Uh, I actually care more about the gameplay and the quality of your gameplay than the visuals. The Discord link. Boink. Discord, there we go. Damn, this guy whacked me a bit. So please. Join our Discord, uh, I'm looking forward to get the build from you, we'll talk details over on Discord. Uh, as long as it runs, it's good enough. And maybe if uh, Nick or uh, Slipcore agree, I can show uh, the quality uh, the quality of uh, the builds we do. The link is not working. Oh my, I've been sending out the wrong links. Sorry, let's fix that right now. So, um, invite people. Set this link to never expire. Copy. And let's regenerate the link here. Ah, you scared me. You scared me. And for Discord, uh, let me just triple check. There. Hey Nick, uh, try typing uh, something something Discord in the chat. Let's see if it auto activates. I hope it's not too much or too stressful. But anyone just type in Discord in the chat. Let's see if that works. Okay, so the barrels are getting somewhere, getting going places. Tarmale Discord. <laughs> Let's make them red. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Well, tough cookie, I guess. Trigger on keyword. Discord. I said. Ah, okay, sorry, I had to press a plus. Uh, try it out now, uh, Nick. Now it should work. I am originally from Romania, but I now live in Zagreb, Croatia, uh, Messi Coder. I'm suspecting you to be from the UK, because I know your accent from the streams, and it does sound like a UK accent. It's where people like uh, Slipcore come for vacation. I now live in Slipcore's vacation, uh, Slipcore's vacation country. Nice, Nick. Glad it worked. Okay, let's make the barrel red. And then we'll go and do exactly what Nick said. Let's show the damage above the uh, enemies. Because it's an RPG, right? Or at least that's what we're pretending to build here. Okay, damage above the enemies. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 50 star money. <laughs> okay, damage above the enemy's head. Damage above the enemy's head. Browse to asset. This should be super easy. Health bars above the trolls. That would actually be harder. That would actually be harder. Not impossible, but harder. And I don't think I'll 
needed to be so complex. HP damage received. When taking damage... Nice! Nice, Messi! Do you work in the... Do you work in the video games uh, industry or do you work in uh, another completely different industry? There are a lot of game development fanatics who actually don't work in the games industry. Yeah, just like you. <laughs> Not a problem. The industry. Yeah, okay, got it, got it. I won't ask any more questions, because I don't want the message to self-destruct. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's make some text showing the damage show up above the enemy's head. Mm. What should I have here? I should create an object. Not print text, but I would like to... Mm, can I create that log text? Add text render component. There we go. We'll add the text render component that will say uh, what? Um, that will set text. Uh, with the value of the damage oh man I'm so I'm so glad the messy coder is here at least he won't judge me for the mess I'm doing right now <laughs> no worries mate anytime Uh, I don't know when uh, the Messi Coder is uh, streaming again, but if you're on tonight, maybe we'll raid you later, alligator. So the damage then we... Saturday. Okay, Saturday it is. I'm streaming on Saturday, so we'll probably raid you. Nice. Spaghetti much. Yes, very much spaghetti. Very much spaghetti. Uh, relative transform should be some get actor location. Hello, Said Bwaun. Bwa Bwa I hope I pronounced that right. Hello. The Messi Coder. Cool, you're branded. Nice. Saturday. Hey. The Messi Coder, Nick. The messy coder. <laughs> He's branded. We're, we're all branded now on the internet. Uh, let's also increase this. So let's add a bit of... Uh, not float. This is a vector. Plus vector. Thank you. Uh, this plus on the Z, I don't know, 200. Yes. Grab it before someone else plays the trick on you. Come on, let's see if this works. So now if I shoot the troll, I should get some text above his head. I did not get 
anything. Hmm. Why you no cooperate? Text render. Ba ba ba. World size. 300. Said, we're trying to show the damage dealt when we're shooting a troll above his head. Let's see if that works though. La -da 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 -da. At this point, it doesn't seem to be working, or the troll is much taller than I expect him to be. Mm, let's see. Let's add the breakpoint and see why we're not creating the text render component when we assume we should be. When we assume we should be. Come on. We have the breakpoint. Let's hit play one more time. Yeah, nice. Then we, we're definitely looking forward to playing his, uh, his uh, work in progress builds. So I am adding the text component. But for some reason I can't see it. You know what? Let's hit him again. Uh, let's frame skip. Frame skip. So it's going in completely different parts. And the messy coder. <laughs> He's an artist and the messy coder. Breakpoint, break yes, Taid. Once, once you get into br uh, breakpoints, you'll never turn back again. Come on, let's see what's going on here. Uh, I want to make sure I'm using the proper kind of text. Okay, so this is text render. Okay, and this is floating text. This is not good. So text render. Okay. <sighs> I'm adding a text render component, manual attachment. Let's put manual attachment. Get the location of the actor and let's make it at 3 meters above his head. Uh, the size is good, text render, visible, pop up. up. We should be good. Compile and save. Okay. Resume. Let's stop the breakpoint because I want to see the game, not the breakpoints. Ah! There we go. We have the text. But it's very, very very far away that's why we weren't seeing it folks because it was somewhere very far away so come on let's add it at um, not three meters above the troll's head but at uh, 30 centimeters above the troll's head let's see how th this value works like come on one more time we shoot him boink there we go 35 35 35 and he's down uh, it doesn't go away uh, unless the troll goes away and it's not aligned to the camera not aligned to the camera how would I align it to the camera Mm, the size is way too big, so let's decrease the size now, not 300, but let's make it 50. File and save. Let's put the troll really close to the player, really close. Come on, big boy, come here, so we can shoot you in the face. There, 
now it's smaller. Uh, look towards function. Uh, Nedled, we don't have, uh, or I don't think we have a look towards function, but we will probably be able to set the rotation on the component. So let's see. Uh, set world rotation uh, based on uh, something we get from the camera. You know what? I'll just select everything from here, drag it all the way down, and we make our special little box here. So it's lesser spaghetti. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking of setting the world rotation to be uh, something like, uh, let's say we'll do a get camera location player camera manager okay uh, from the player get player uh, get local player get player controller hmm. let's see Get player controller. I'm thinking of building the rotation somehow, Nick. So I'm getting the camera location and now I'm thinking of make angle rotator from axis and angle. Er, this is the axis. Okay, you know what? Let's just try it like this first. Uh, for now, I want to make sure we at least rotate uh, something. Uh, rotation and interpolation. Yeah. R interp. Use the R interp. Okay. So you're saying here to do rotation interp. R interp 2. Okay. Uh, Said, that's a very good question, my friend. Uh, that's why I will show you our visual levels later today. Uh, so, rotation interpolation. But this is just interpolating between two angles. Nah, I don't want it to rotate. I want. I don't want it to r rotate like in an animated motion, I want it to snap in the first frame we set it. So I think I'll use this one for now, because yours does a rotation from two. It sweeps an angle. Let's see if this even works. Boink. Am I getting different rotations? I'm getting nothing. They're all the, aligned the same. Give it zero time, says Nedler. Yeah. I want to make sure this works first. I'm getting the camera rotate location. And I don't want even this. I would like to make a angle, make, make, I want to make something. Uh, make rot. There we go. Make uh, rotator from uh, uh, X. Make a rotator from X and we'll put this here. There we go. File saved. Come on, let's try it now because I'm basically building the angle. Aha, aha, aha. It did rotate a bit, but it didn't rotate. Oh, it actually did. Ah. Well, I said the right here. Calculate. Uh, yeah, because it's making the rotation. So what this, so what this make rotation is doing, and I think I'll 
also draw what I'm trying to achieve and why I think it actually works. I'll draw here. So what we have going on is this. Uh, let's use some neon green so everyone can see it. So I have the player's camera like this. Op, op. I'll actually try to draw in 3D, which isn't my strongest point. Okay, so we have the player's camera, we have the player, and we have the troll, right? And in the player's camera, I know I have X axis, I have uh, Z which is up top, and the Y which is somewhere on the side. And I'm trying to make a rotation here, just from the X value here. So basically it will try to use this as the rotation. And it did seem to work. Yeah, okay. It was, ah, for the other one, yeah. Yeah, that's why I changed it, because I wanted to make somehow. Uh, and I'm also trying to understand, so I'm making the rotation now, I'm trying to understand... No, I will now do a... Uh... What other kind of interpolators do we have? Because I would like to make it move a bit upwards. Like, boing, you know, it jumps. Five minute break. <laughs> Squat break. Um, flow vector on interp. Vector interp. Float interp. Ah, D is back. All right. All right. Hello, dear friend. Hello, hello. Been quite a time, eh? B interp. Okay. Tries to reach target based on distance from current position, giving a nice smooth feeling when tracking a position. Hmm. Okay, let's try this one. Set. <laughs> Set world. Iran lost uh, from Spain at the World Cup. What what was the score? It's made it, yes. World location. Wasn't that bad. Tweening. I do not know what tweening means, Nedled. <laughs> yeah, Spain is actually not doing that good on the social social scale. Delta time. Uh, this should be a timeline. Create. Not from here, but from okay, from here. No, no, and I would have to actually delete it. Timeline. Timeline. Play. Uh, 
Ah, okay, 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 okay. So you're saying I can just do this and 0 0.5. But delta time, let's see, let's see, you know what, let's see, do we even see it, we don't see it, so it works, we don't see it, so it works, and it works because I didn't do the positions, because the current position should be, uh which one should be oh <laughs> sorry for the spaghetti folks should be here get location and the target should be plus something now it will work the target should be uh, uh, the target should be uh, 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 plus 100. Okay, let's save it. And let's see what's going on now. Point. Did it even move a bit? I can't see it moving. Let's play with the values here and there. 20 ticks per second at delta time, time since last tick. Uh, yes, yes, Nedled. Axis, axis systems are amazing, I know. Uh, delta time. Time since last tick, 2. Interrupt speed, 0 0.5. In each of the deltas. Yeah, I was sure of it. I was sure of it slip. Uh, okay, let's try it. I don't know. Time since last tick. 10. Let's do a sweeping. Time since last tick, 10. Target should be the camera. The target should be the camera, says Nick. No, the target should be uh, the text. I want to send the text upwards. But I'm not sure it works uh, in terms 0.5. Okay, let's decrease the interpolation speed a lot. 0.001. And you know what? Let's make the delta time again back at 2. There we go. Come on, one more time. Hit it. Don't you want to rotate it to always face the camera? No, I just want to rot I want to set the location so it goes up. Like you hit him and then you go like king, 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 like in RPGs. Mm, I'm guessing the interp speed is the secret here. And I'll use a more extreme value here. It might not work without a timeline because I don't know if he can... Uh, I don't know if he can um, update the time. Oh, okay. So it does kind of sort of work, but now it goes up, it goes up in the last position. 
I'm not convinced about this delta time. The, uh, we might need uh, on tick here or a timeline. Mm, 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 mm. 0, 0, 0 0.05 and 0.24 delta. Okay. 0.05. Okay, let's try it out. Let's see now. Point. It's not updating. Uh, we need it to we need to set it either with a timeline or on tick. I'm guessing because I'm not seeing any update whatsoever. We can try it again, but I'm not seeing any update. Point. Just stays there. Let's let's try it with a with an on tick or something. Mm. Nah, okay, okay, feeling lucky, eh? In turp speed, delta time, let's try a delta time 20. Yeah, 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 I know. Let's try with a large delta time. See, now it probably jumped already. Because I don't even see it anymore. Pause, eject. See? They're already here now. Look, there they are. Hmm. I will need a timeline. I will need a timeline and I will need to play it. Uh, so, 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 let's see, uh, how do I create a timeline? Uh, function, variable, macro, graph, and dispatcher, no, not from here, uh, timeline, timeline, Play variable no add timeline okay okay not this one delete add component maybe from here time no variable function add timeline yeah, we do timeline because this is constant still. It doesn't get updated. Timeline. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where do I add the timeline? There we go. Uh, let's call it... Um, what do we call it? And how do we rename it? We don't rename it. We'll just add a flow track. We'll just add two keys this one will be at time zero and the value uh, zero and this one will be at time one and the value 50 because i'm guessing we'll raise it up 50 centimeters yeah yeah exactly okay beautiful timeline uh let's not name it new track Let's rename it uh, text moving upwards. Perfect. 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 Name. Text. Text. Animation. And now we'll do play in here. Uh, let's do play from start. Let, let's do play from start. And on update, we set the world location. And the new location is that interpolation. And the 
world delta time for delta time and for the interpolation use a value above one, like four or something. That's a very difficult question, Ned Led. Let me read it again. So Ned Led is asking, can't I just use the world delta time for delta time and for the interpolation use a value above one, like four or something? Yes, I could do that with an event on tick. Tick? Event tick. Ah, but I already have it. You know what? Let's try this one as well. Let's try it like this for now. Because I think it would get it. It would start getting it once the location uh, gets triggered. I'll just put the timeline here and let's see what results we get because I'm also a bit curious. Might just work, might not work. Let's find out. So I see the text and I'm not getting any movement at all. Maybe the interpolation is small though. Let's increase the interpolation. The interp speed will increase it to one no uh, okay one compile and save even higher okay nothing nada okay let's set it to four but that's that's the last chance it gets otherwise we just go timeline and we might actually simplify a bit and not do a v interp nope nope nothing i'm 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 getting nothing out of it nothing come on let's unchain this and let's Text moving upwards goes in delta time. Uh, I, I, I'm with Slipcore here. I think he needs to get the update constantly here because now I'm doing update. I'm not doing it just once. That's the, we were reading the delta time here, uh, Nedled, but we weren't constantly calling set world location. Let's see now. Let's see now. <laughs> you can all imagine where the text is, right? Because I can't. Oh. Now I, I'm not seeing the text anyway. The latest scores are mathematical. Okay, so someone really did play those games a lot. Come on. There. 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 Easier, fancier, simpler. There. There. <laughs> Simple as pie. Uh, let's... Uh, let's... Let's, let's, let's edit the timeline a bit so the text moving upwards shouldn't be 50 should be 
five. No, shouldn't be five, should be one. And saved. Come on. Push ups. Yay for push ups. Nice. Nice. Now it's working. But now I have another problem. It's attached to the parent. In the timeline, I can put the pins to auto. Yeah, but uh, I don't want them to be auto. I want them to be controlled by me. So now it's lifting, but it's attached to the troll. And the last one isn't lifting at all. Why isn't the last one getting the lift? Because I am calling the destroy troll. I'm closing this gate, but I'm not closing anything here. Anyway, anyway. Um, add text render component this seems to work play from start because it was connected to play folks not from play from start silly me silly me there we go move component to opa opa netlet sent us something move component to move stop return Target relative location, relative over time, duration of interpolation, okay. We might try this one, we might try this one. If I didn't fix it right now, we might try that one. But I think I got it now. There we go. Nice and smooth. It works now. I would just want it to disappear after a brief moment. So here, just as it is, I would like to... Uh, what sort of visual feedback damage would you recommend without using numbers? Well, we do have uh, Magic Orb Impact. We do have audio for um, the troll going like... Ugh. Uh, and I'm guessing blood, blood splatters and even blood decals, I'm, I'm thinking about. That's pretty clear. Okay, if you want to go really hardcore, then we can also probably do the anim tree to show like the damage, but that's not uh, hard, that's not simple, as you asked, Said. Uh, okay. Setting the world location, and when it's finished, I would like to destroy component. What component? This component. Or a health slider above his head. Uh, that's another kind of feedback. That's knowing how much HP the troll still has. Boink. Boink. I, I can't tell if I'm destroying them or not. This one will... Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. I'm not destroying them. I had one that was still not getting destroyed. component text render component why am I not destroying them why am I not destroying them I want to decrease even more the text here, so length should be 
uh, time should be 0 0.5 and length should be ah ah 0 0.51 there we go there we go that's why folks that's why because my length was longer in particles above your enemy Said, that's actually super cool. Uh, yes, those particles indicate their type, but what if we would control? Yeah, so Said, uh, the particles indicate the type because this is a regular melee attacker. This is a ice one. And this is a lava one. However, however, let's check. I really like what Said proposed here. Let's check how many emitters we have on the troll's back. If by any chance we have three or four emitters on their back, we can start disabling uh, one emitter after another as they get damage let's actually try it out so now i'm checking for the text now it's traveling too much of a short distance but at least it's disappearing okay Back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. Let's just finish this timeline. So the length is good. The distance, uh, time zero five value. Come on, let's make it a five. Save. Or they smoke more. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we're getting the good damage the good speed and distance up to which it flies and you know what let's check out the particles Nedled, Stia, uh, thanks for being here awesome ideas and awesome inspiration and punch that uh, follow button if you haven't done so already because starting next Wednesday we start a blank new project from scratch in Unreal it will be based off the first person template project and we'll build it into a puzzle adventure game and we'll only work on it on stream not off stream like I did with this one uh, before see ya okay so um, let's see how many emitters we have here come on troll man show us show us your stuff oh man oh man Said, can you believe this? Can you believe this? We have exactly three back effects, my friend. We have exactly three of them. So we can start disabling them as we hit the troll. So we have one there, we have one here, and we have the middle one. So the order would be, uh, first we would disable back effect. Hey, Nedled, thank you for the follow, friend. Maybe we can uh, get your taste up for um, working with Unreal. Maybe. Uh, yes, Ben Tristem did a course for what, Nick? He did a course. He did two courses for Unreal. I know the one for C++. I have it and I'm like 20-30% into it. Uh, and I think he's doing right now an RPG course. Yes. Uh, back effect two. Come on. Back effect two. And back effect three. So let's see. The order should be the first back effect because it's the middle one. Then back effect two and then back effect three. No, no, I'm copying from him. Uh, first person room escape type. Yes, yes, that's uh, that's from the C++ course, the second chapter. Yes. And now they're doing an RPG. 
I'm guessing a larger scale RPG than what I'm trying to do here. And I think they're doing it with code and everything. Uh, where should we do this? Here. Mm. Now, how would I do this? How would I do this? I could... Check... Check the health... A first-person shooter... Uh, it might be the fourth chapter of the programming course again, yes. It might be. But it's not a first person shooter, it's a... Uh, okay, it's a first person uh, infinite shooter, if the word exists. I, I can check my course and see exactly what they do there. Uh, let's see what's going on here. So here, I could select based on HP. So based on HP, I could select or switch. Or compare it. I could compare it. I could compare it. Yeah, yeah! Slipcore, go, go, go! So here, if HP... Come on, we, we just compare it. If HP is bigger than... Is less than 100... is less than a hundred. Yep, this is what we'll do. Branch. So, if HP is less than a hundred, neither switch nor select will work because I need to run one up to three things. Oh, Slipcore. But you know me. You know my slippery ways. You know already. Uh, you know already. Uh, 70. You know already, Slip. This is getting called every time we do the damage. I could use uh, Said. Yes, I could technically use the range. But check this out, I'm already, I, every time I take damage, I do this sequence anyway, every time I take damage. And this way, I just go through the sequence and if the health is under 100, I stop the first particle. So let's actually stop the back effect and destroy completely, yeah. Let's destroy it completely. Boink. Ah. But if I destroy it... If I destroy it, I'd get an error, so I'd have to stop. Stop. Pause. Oh, uh, context sensitive. Pause. Oh. What options do I have here? Um, reset on detach. Visible. Auto act activate. Okay. Set active or something. Activate. Deactivate. There we go. There we go. So if this is true, I deactivate this one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I deactivate it. That basically stops it from emitting altogether. And we'll have to do two more. So it's boink, 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 
Boink with back effect two and yeah I guess I could probably do that as well but I don't think we'll get much of a gameplay improvement on that if anything after I finish this and polish this up uh, I would rather um, give the player different abilities like to uh, also get the low the ice spell or the uh, fire spell so he can set fire to the trolls or uh, freeze them but that would take quite some time and I wouldn't wanna delay releasing the course even more let's see if the particles work They work, they work, they work. Okay, I didn't get the numbers right. I didn't get the numbers right, but they work. So he's like angry, lesser angry, completely not angry, ow, and dead. Lesser angry, and dead. Yes, uh, we'll continue testing this in another map, just so we can show Said uh, the quality, the visual quality level we already have. So let's make this one lava. And let's work the numbers a bit. So if HP is less than a hundred, um, uh, now I understand the range question from Said. Now I understand it. Mm. So if it's less than a hundred, okay, here, if it's less than uh, 60, 60, and if it's less than 20, this should work. This should work. Because uh, I'm dealing 35 damage with my projectile, so it goes under a hundred but above 60. Then I'm dealing 35 more from 75. Yeah, that's under 40. This should work. Come on, let's try it out. Okay, so I disabled one. Now he's left with only one. And I destroyed him. Ah, he got me stuck here. Got me. Completely. Oh. Again. 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 They're blocking my path, so I should widen the road. But it works, which is not always right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm basically incorporating the ranges in the checks I do. It's not ideal, but it's fast enough. And we get a quick win. Okay, so now this guy comes in. Hey man, chill, will you? There. And now he should give us the key. And Said, since you stayed for so long in the stream, because uh, I will close it up soon, uh, as usual, we will build the game, share the link with everyone so you can download it and play it for yourself, see how the game feels. 
there. We spawn some chests here and there, and then we get teleported to the next level, which is the demo level. Cool, so everything works. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Hmm, interesting. I'm getting some leftover particles from something. Okay, I'll just remove a few trolls here, from here. Where are you? Where are you, trolls? Uh, this one and this one. Uh, actually, both of them. Because we have the one with the trap there. Let's save everything. File. Package project. Windows 64 bit. Come on. We're doing this, folks. We're doing this. Okay, so, dear friends, um, I'm opening my usual Google Drive. Oof. There it is. Let's go into our builds folder. And let's see when and if uh, we have package. Where are we? Here. Let's see when and if we have packaged the project. Still not there yet. Still not there yet. My dearest friends, uh, for... Hey, the messy coder is back. Just in time, my friend. Just in time. I'm distributing today's build as we speak. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something happened here. Senti Gamer is now following. Thanks for the follow, Senti Gamer. Thank you very much. Discord in a sentence, the sentence will be taken as a command and it will not show on the chat. Okay, Nick, we're gonna fix that. That was definitely not my original intention. So let's actually upload. First we upload. So packaged. This is um, June 20th, 20th till. June 20th till June 20th. Let's drop it in the drive. Up. 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 There we go. It should be fast. The stream should still be somewhat alive. Let's edit now the Discord and let's add it as... Okay. Uh, Nick, you can now try it or anyone can try it with an exclamation mark before uh, the word Discord in the same in the same word. I used space there so it can pass a bot. But technically, if you just press exclamation mark Discord, you should uh, get it this time. Okay, we finished uploading. To 20th, we are here. Let's go to our classic Google URL shortener. Copied. Aha, okay. <laughs> it works fine. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Believe it or not, believe it or not, it does not know of a cooldown because it's the chatbot. Wow, okay. Okay. 
Nice character you got there. What character? Nick, I'm confused. What character? Anyway. Announcement time, folks. Announcement time. Let me see if I can actually get uh, the announcement right. Yep. Uh, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, and I'm using the restream chatbot, uh, Messy Coder, but this will change soon because um, starting next week on Wednesday, we will go into our season two uh, for the stream, which will be all about making a first person puzzle adventure. We'll start from uh, scratch. We'll just use the template pro first person project from uh, Epic and we'll build up on top of that. And we will be, we will be, Twitch uh, exclusive. So I have given some thought uh, and it was not an easy decision to make, but I will accept the awesome invitation via Twitch affiliate. Uh, over the past two months, uh, Twitch has proven much more stable in terms of uh, live streaming. YouTube uh, was kind of breaking off from time to time. We probably had some server issues. Fully Draws is now following. Thank you very much. Let's transition to this one. So, uh, thank you for the follow, Cooley Draws. Um, every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, yeah, nope, this is the bad one, sorry. It's the bad one. <laughs> that, let, let's not let's not show the, the wrong schedule today I'll have to change it right now sorry about that folks I was like hey those are the old ones right mm, every Monday this one okay come on let's transition again Oof. See you, Said. Remember, we'll be on Twitch starting next week, Wednesday, only on Twitch. So if you'd like, join us on Twitch as well. I'll keep YouTube just for uh, short 10-15 minute videos pre-recorded. Mm. And I will also uh, upload on YouTube the recordings 24 hours after we stream on Twitch. So, Mondays, Wednesdays. Thursdays and Saturdays every 9 p.m. Central Eastern European time, 12 p.m. Pacific daytime and 12.30 a.m. Indian Standard time, we will uh, keep rocking with Unreal Engine. Tomorrow we will continue our polish on the isometric uh, RPG, we will close it up, uh, we'll start doing uh, more and more minute fiddling like this one. Uh, Saturday. Maybe if I can, thank you Said for being here. So Saturday, maybe if I can convince Messi Coder to send me a work in progress build of his um, or an older game of yours, uh, the Messi Coder, if you built games, uh, uh, if you already have some finished games, I would really like us to do at least half of the Saturday to be a lazy Saturday where we look at uh, games built by uh, fellow viewers and by indie developers mm, okay uh, so we're we're keeping our fingers crossed for you hopefully you'll get soon at the point where you can send us builds uh, yeah so I'm making this announcement to anyone who's building their own project and does uh, have the project in a mature enough state to be able to share it. I'm getting pretty dry for the um, lazy stream days. So then something over because we haven't had a lazy day in quite a while. Um, we'll play it, Domestic Order. At some point I know we'll play it. I know we'll play yours. Uh, you seem like a pretty 
um, determined person and I'm sure you'll finish your project. Uh, Said asks uh, if I plan to do some VR stuff. Not for now. Uh, it would be pretty difficult with my current setup, but if, um, if the stream picks up, maybe we'll try to do it. Uh, bon appetit uh, for your kids. <laughs> see you, see you everyone. Uh, thank you once again for being here. Let's regroup tomorrow, starting with 9 p.m. Central Eastern European time, 12 p.m. Pacific daytime. And you know what? Let's actually see if we can raid someone before I close this uh, stream. So I'll just uh, end the stream, but stay in the chat, folks. We'll search for a raid. See you, see you tomorrow, folks. Bye-bye, bye-bye.